Meanwhile, Palestinian laborers and foreign activists are working tirelessly to transform a large fishing boat into Gaza's Ark with the aim of exporting locally produce in the latest bid to break Israel's blockade on the coastal strip. The Ark, which is being fitted out to carry goods and more than 100 passengers, is expected to set sail for Europe when it is completed by the end of this year in the latest high-profile attempt to challenge Israel's maritime lockdown on the coastal tiny enclave. The Ark symbolizes the fact that Palestinian anti-siege activists are not asking the world for charity in the form of aid, but want to have the right to trade freely with the world and to earn their own living with dignity. Gaza's Ark is an international grassroots campaign of direct action against the illegal and inhumane blockade of Gaza. Along with our Freedom Flotilla Coalition partners, we stand with the Palestinian people and affirm the right to access their own territorial waters for fishing, but also much beyond that, to access international waters for the purposes of trade and commerce. Um, this is because we know that no people will have economic sovereignty if they don't control their own borders. So that, you know, the right of people to trade and travel is part of the right of freedom of movement, the same as the right to travel for study purposes or health purposes or personal family reasons. Um, we stand with the right of Palestinians to export because from all of Palestine uh, there are export goods that international purchasers want to buy and that this can only happen if Palestinians control their own borders and are able to trade outward from the port of Gaza which is the only port on the Mediterranean currently closed to shipping.